What's up everybody? Welcome back to Ambitious Kicks. Um, today I have two reviews for you guys. Something that I picked up from StockX and then something my boy just picked up the other day uh, through OfferUp. But uh, this might seem a little different than usual. Um, right now I'm just kind of working on my little office right now. My girlfriend's got her side for her business. If you guys want to follow her on IG at Always Ambitious Boutique um, on IG. Uh, she does sell crystals. She does do women's clothing as well as far as sweaters for right now. Um, yeah, you know, shout out to my bae. You know, if it wasn't for her, um, I really wouldn't be trying to do this right now. I did have this dream of, you know, one day becoming my own sneaker uh, business owner. Uh, just following my passion of sneakers and stuff. So, and you know, she gives me that motivation when she decided to start her own business, uh, always ambitious boutique. So, you know, this is why I do what I do. You know, this is why I'm trying to get as much push into this, even though it's kind of hard right now, you know, I'm not giving up hope on anything. And yeah, like I said, this is her side right now. Uh, I do have bigger plans for my side right now. I just got, I moved my shoes from my room over here. And, you know, I'm just going to fill that side up. And possibly fill up this. But I do plan on filling up this side right here with some posters. Probably a few more pairs of shoes as well. Uh, probably throw up some boxes and stuff. And maybe put some stuff on top of that. Not quite sure what I want to do yet as far as what else I'm about to put in here but yeah this is you know my new setup now and I also got my little station right here as well so you know like I said this is going to be my new recording set my new recording area uh, for YouTube and all my content and stuff so um, let's get straight into it today so today I have a pickup from StockX, you know, thank you StockX. And what I didn't know was that they use DHL sometimes too. So it wasn't FedEx or USPS or UPS, it was actually DHL. I did order some other stuff uh, as far as some other dec decorative stuff, like some stickers and stuff that I wanted to put on this wall or whatever. It was uh, I do plan on getting some posters and some LED lights to kind of change up the mood in here as well. But today is the day. Um, I came across these um, when I looked these up or when these had dropped last year. Uh, not exactly sure what month and day they dropped, but for sure these did drop last year. Um, I never really was a person to get into um, Reebok questions and stuff, but when I came across this collection because now I'm starting to get into this type of Vibe and stuff. I actually kind of like these a lot So with no further ado Here I have the BBC Ice cream Collaboration uh, Question low the name chain Lowe's and the tag reads Reebok question low, size 10 and a half. Um, men's basketball, pole, pink, white, yellow fill. And these are made in Vietnam. And then I like the little stuff they add, they did on this box too. Like for instance here, it says, pledge of purity. We pledge that ice cream is the new fashion forward staple item packaged and delivered with plenty of flavor. And then here it says, contains only rich leather, Ice, outsole, and flavorful details. And then here as well it says, let's have some fun. And just the overall feel of this box is what makes it so nice. Because they even added like the style facts and then the ingredients kind of like actual ice cream. So that's what makes this box so nice and something that I do want to keep. I'm not going to get rid of this box but just the overall quality on the box itself it's like 
It's so nicely detailed, executed, and then you got like your little BBC ice cream, Iverson, Reebok stuff there. And then yeah, so as you can kind of see, turn on my light. Oh damn, too bright. Too bright. Kind of just turn this on. Oh, so as you can see, my little stock X receipt. And then instead of the Travis Scott one card, they came with the it came with this uh, cause card, but pretty much still says the same thing on the back as usual. And there, oop. Oop. there you have it. I'm not supposed to think out the box. Now this is probably. This is probably my favorite pair out of the two that dropped last year. It was a uh, beepers and butts, which was like cigarette butts and be like diamond testers and stuff. I kind of went towards these ones. Like, don't get me wrong. Those ones are nice because I do like the green sole, but I just feel like these were much better in my opinion, as you can see. Move that out a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Focus in. But yeah, as you can see, the detail, the quality of the shoe, the leather is really soft. So that's, I actually like that it's kind of plush. And then, as you can see, it says like AI right here. And then you got like all around here, you got like this word gorgeous, as you can kind of see right there. And then you have your pink laces that come standard with the shoe. Let's get the insole as well, if you can see it. Got the ice cream cone with Iverson's head on it, which is really nice as well. And then you got your little ice cream logo here. But instead of ice cream, it actually says Iverson. And I think the other one says Allen. Let's see. Nope, the other one actually says ice cream on it. As you can see, ice cream. And then it does come with a pair of spare laces as well. Supposed to be like a cream or a yellow color. I think they're yellow. Yeah, you got yellow one, yellow laces. So I might put in one yellow lace, one pink lace. But yeah, just the overall quality of these. It's it's dope, and I like that. Jeez, this thing is hard. There we go. And I do like the fact like that Reebok has actually did this collaboration a couple of times. And then when you look at the bottom, so kind of like the green pair of the Reebok Classics that I have, the Money Roll flavors, these are the Bubba Chuck flavor, but the money, it kind of has like that same concept, concept at the bottom. They brought back that, the BBC ice cream theme on the bottom of the sole. When you put it together, it makes like that little ice cream, the little ice cream astronaut thing on the bottom. And I love, I just love, I love these, I love this sole a lot. You know, it's very different, you know, Quality control is not bad on these at all. As far as, like there's like little dust and stuff on them and then there's like a minor, very, very, very minor glue stain here. But 
overall, this is actually, these are actually well crafted and really nicely executed. And then on the back tabs, like right at the bottom of the sole, you got the IC <coughs> for ice cream. So I kind of like that too. Yeah, like I said, you know, this is something very different, you know, added to the collection besides those Reebok classics I have. You know, like I mentioned before, like I just want to change up, you know, my style of everything and, you know, kind of get away from the Jordans a little bit. By the way, I got another package coming from StockX as well, coming very soon. Um, but other, yeah, like, I just want to add different stuff to my theme and to my collection, you know. I don't want it to just be, you know, strictly Jordans or strictly foam pods and stuff like that. Like, I want to add some Reebok question lows or questions, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit. But that's one review. I got the other one coming up, uh, coming up soon as well. So stay tuned. Ambitious Kicks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.